Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to uh, this series of uh, practice circuit uh, problems. Now this is an other uh, AC question and here we want to find V naught. This is the requirement in this question which is the voltage between this node and the ground. And for this question again like the previous one I will use nodal analysis. Okay. So, this is V, the voltage between these two points is actually V. So, we will have one, two, three, and four branches. So, first, I'd like to find V, and then once I know V, I will be uh, able to find V naught as we will, as we'll see later on. Okay, so, apply. KCL to node V. It is the only node I apply KCL to it. So the current that goes to the left is basically V minus 12. Angle zero, I will just ignore it. Angle zero means it's like a scalar. So there is no need to, to write angle zero. Divided by the total impedance between this node and this node so these two are in series so this becomes 2 minus j1 plus the current that goes down here through the current source is 2 angle 0 again i will ignore it the current that goes here from v to the ground is basically plus v divided by 2 plus j 2 plus 2j j2 i mean and then the current that goes to the right plus v minus 4 divided by 1 so we have 1 2 3 4 branches equal to equal to z so as you can see here the circuit part is very easy now one equation i want to find v now this is a lot of math involved Okay, so I will show you one approach how to find this or how to handle this problem when you are dividing by a complex number. So here, this term, we are dividing by a complex number and this term also I am dividing by a complex number. So how to uh, get rid of the complex number in the denominator. So let's see here, V minus 12 divided by 2 minus j so i will deal with this number by itself so what we do here to get rid of the complex number i multiply by the conjugate okay and let me explain it here on the side what is the conjugate so for example if i have a plus j b the conjugate for this number is basically a minus j b now when you multiply the number with its with its conjugate, you will get rid of the imaginary part. How? A times A is A squared. A times minus JB is minus JAB. JB times A is plus JBA. Plus minus J squared B squared. So this is equal to A squared these two will cancel and we know that j square is basically minus one so it's this is a square plus b square so you will get a real number so one way to get rid of the uh, complex number is to multiply but by its conjugate of course i will not just multiply by two plus j i have to multiply by two plus j divided by two plus j why so that i will not alter the number so i'm just multiplying by one Okay, so this is equal to V minus times 2 plus J divided by, same thing here, 2 square, which is 4, 1 square means 1, so it becomes 5. So V minus 12 times 2 plus J divided by 5. So I get this for get rid of this term. Let's do this term, the other term. V divided by 2 plus J2. 
2. So again, I will multiply by 2 minus j2 divided by 2 minus j2. So this is equal to v times 2 minus j2 divided by 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 times 2 plus plus 4. So this is equal to, I will take 2 as a common factor, so it becomes 2 v1 minus j divided by 8 or equal to v times 1 minus j divided by divided by 4. So now I'm done with this. So then what we have here, 2 minus 4 plus v. So this, this the last terms will be equal to 2 plus v minus 4 equal to v minus 2. So now we will have this number, this number, and this this number so we have these three numbers now we will add them i will start handling them okay so let's move on here so i will write down the equation so it is uh, v minus 12 divided by 5 times 2 plus j plus v times 1 minus j divided by 4 plus v minus 2 equal to, to 0. Now I'm dividing by a real number. I want to get rid of this. So I will multiply by the least common factor, which is 20. So I will multiply times 20, the whole equation. So this becomes 4 times v minus 12, 2 plus j plus 5 times v 1 minus j plus 20v minus 40 equal to, to 0. As I said, all math. Now we just need how to deal, how to handle those, those numbers. So I will multiply v times 2 plus j. So this becomes 4v times 2 plus j minus 4 times 12, which is minus 48 times 2 plus plus j. So I just multiplied 4v times 2 plus j and 4 times minus 12, which is minus 48 times, again 2 plus 2 plus j, plus 5v1 minus j plus 20v and this is equal to equal to 40. Okay. Now, take v as a common factor, so v8 plus j4 plus Bring this term here, V5 minus J5 plus 20V equal to 40. And then move this uh, part, which doesn't have the V, uh, the variable, to the other side. So plus 48, 2 plus, plus J. Now, take V as a common factor. So it becomes A plus J4 plus 5 minus j5 plus 20 equal to 40 plus 48 times 2. This is 130, 36 plus j40, 48. Then your v8, 5, 20. This is equal to 33. j4 minus j5 becomes minus j equal to 136 plus j48. So your v is equal to 136 plus j48 divided by 33 minus minus j. So now I'm dividing to a complex number, both in the rectangular form. It's better to change both of them into the polar format. So this is 144. 0.2 angle of 19.44 divided by 33.02 angle of minus 1.74 and from this your v which is the voltage between this point and the ground is equal to 4.37 angle of 21.118 okay Still, I'm not done. Why? But because what I want to find is your V0. How to find V0? Now, 
we know that the voltage from this point to this point, which is your V is equal to 4.37 angle of 21.2 uh, or 18.2. This is your V. Okay. Now, when you look to this, this J2 and 2, they are in series. And this is the voltage that you are interested in. So basically, you can look to it as a voltage divider. How? You have here J2. You have here 2 ohm. And you are interested in this voltage. And I know this voltage, which is your V. So it's basically a voltage division. That's what you want uh, to apply. So your V0 is equal to your V, which is 4.37 angle of 21.2 times 2, which is the resistance, across which you want to find the voltage, divided by the summation of the 2, which is 2 plus J2. So this is equal to 4.37 angle of 21.2 times 2 divided by 2.83 angle of 45 so finally this is equal to 3.07 angle of minus 23.882 okay so or 8 so this is your your uh, voltage okay uh, of uh, interest so as you can see here the math involved here is way much more than the DC. The electrical equations that we have, we have only two electrical equations. This equation, the nodal equation at the beginning, and the voltage division at the end. That's it. But the math involved here is much more complex. So this is why it's very important to practice all the time how to deal with, with complex numbers.